Many instructors currently look at ChatGPT as simply a tool that students use to make essays. So it's kind of viewed a little bit negatively as far as that's all it's for, just to create these essays for them so that they can cheat or, or violate uh, some policy. But ChatGPT is so powerful with so many capabilities. And in fact, if we look at things in the right way and use it in the right way, ChatGPT can be specifically used to help prevent violations of academic integrity. Before we talk about these different ways, we need to understand, well, what does the research say as far as why do students cheat? Why do students violate uh, academic uh, honesty or their student code of conduct? So what the research has shown is one of the top reasons is not being fully prepared. Uh, that's kind of like, that makes sense, not being fully prepared. But additionally, with this number one slot is also students that have a fear of failure. So these can be A students that they go ahead and cheat just to ensure that they keep that A. So that's the number one reason. Second reason is not having enough time to complete the assignment. So this is what they've said based off of lots of different uh, research surveys. The third one is not fully understanding the material. Keep that in mind. Fourth one is believing that cheating is acceptable. It's, it's acceptable in the class. So they believe that, so of course they do the cheating. And then the fifth one is believing that others are cheating and getting away with it. So they're cheating themselves if they don't cheat. All right? So that's an interesting way of thinking, but that's the fifth reason that comes up in the research as far as why are students cheating. So now in looking at these different reasons for why students cheat, Let's see how ChatGPT can be specifically used to help address these issues and reduce these incidents of academic dishonesty. So the first reason given was dealing with students not properly understanding or having a, a fear of failure. So ChatGPT can be used specifically with scaffolding. So through that scaffolding, that means that the information can be summarized. It can be used as a study buddy to help the student go through in their understanding. Uh, the fear of failure, they can uh, use ChatGPT as a practice tool. So that means that uh, the instructor can give them multiple practice tests, multiple practice quizzes, so that they can be sure that I know the material, I will get a good grade because I can succeed in these practice tests, practice quizzes. So again, ChatGPT used as a way to address academic dishonesty. The, now, the second reason given for students doing uh, violations of academic dishonesty dealt with uh, the time management. So uh, the beautiful thing about ChatGPT is that it can teach any, virtually any subject as far as helping the student know. So ChatGPT can be used directly to ask it questions about how can I improve my management of time? How can I be more productive? ChatGPT can help with the creation of content. It can help with making rough drafts, with studying, with proofreading. Simply put, it can be used to increase productivity. So this will give students more time, more ability to then properly be ready for whatever test or assessment will come up. A third reason or a third way that ChatGPT can be used dealt, deals with the third reason given for why students violate academic honesty policies. And that is ChatGPT can be used to help students understand. It can help them, uh, ChatGPT can be used to help explain the content in different ways. It can be used to help with different levels of sophistication. So if the student isn't ready, they can get the information at a lower sophistication level, lower level of understanding, it can be explained. And then once a student understands that, it can go higher and higher until they fully catch back up. Uh, ChatGPT can be used uh, to explain the content in different ways, with examples, with analogies, as a story, as a song, in any way that would help that student to better understand the material. The fourth reason, and this is a big one, is that uh, that students uh, gave as far as why they cheat or violate policy is because they think that in their classroom that it's acceptable. It's acceptable for them to, to cheat. So if they think that it's acceptable, then of course they're going to cheat. So using ChatGPT, this is a great opportunity for the instructor to say, hey, let's talk about ChatGPT. Let's talk about advanced AI. So now that we're having this discussion, it brings it to everyone's attention. Oh, this is a tool that could be used that way. Well, as the instructor, I'm telling you 
what you can and can't do. So I'm bringing it to everyone's attention so that we're all on the same sheet of music. We all understand this together. What is wrong? What is cheating? What is not allowed in this classroom? What is allowed in, in this classroom? So by having this shared understanding, then we can help to avoid this reason that students give. Uh, along the same way, by helping students see and explaining within the class that ChatGPT can only be used in this assignment, can only be used in that assignment. And if you're caught, or you know, if you go through this process, then you're going to be, uh, you know, there will be some punitive action, as well as how is this affecting them in the long term. So the relevancy really needs to be important for the student to see and understand, this is why I shouldn't do it. These are, even if I don't get caught, I'm not gonna be prepared for my next class that's going to use these tools the, or these, uh, these process. I'm not going to be prepared for my next class that I need to know this information for. So it's important for the student to fully understand what's allowed, what's not allowed, why they need that information, the relevancy, and to avoid these cheating things and to avoid these, these problems and so that we don't have to have these uncomfortable conversations as far as uh, grievances or ethics violations we, we want to avoid that from the beginning, so this is why instructors at all levels need to be upfront and inform the student. Policies at universities and schools need to be very specific in what can be done, what can't be done, but the instructor is always the key. They need to spell that out to the classroom, they need to have it in their syllabus so that students know what is cheating, what isn't cheating, why they shouldn't, and help them use ChatGPT to address all these issues for why students uh, do academic dishonesty. ChatGPT is a powerful tool, and if used in the right way with good AI literacy, it can be a help to education in a multiple of ways. This is just one great way for that. And remember, learning is for life.